can you imagine being blind from birth and one day your, your vision re is restored? Uh, this is what my research hopes to accomplish, uh, being able to give someone the gift of sight. Uh, current devices that allow this to happen uh, have very low resolution, about 50 pixels. That's bit, just enough to be able to see some sort of motion uh, without actually having resolution or being able to determine faces or being able to read text. Uh, these are limited to 50 pixels because they're used, they're uh, made by a top-down process where they take some large piece and they cut it up into small little disks. In this case, electrodes that'll sit, that sit in the back of the eye. Uh, however, there's a better way. It's called bottom-up. Uh, this, this way you take individual atoms and you put them together uh, using chemical tools to build the, the structures that you want. I'm building an artificial retina uh, with a piece of silicon and then I grow graphene atom by atom uh, onto the surface. And then th this acts as a solar cell. And then I take this graphene layer and I put individual uh, iron nanoparticles on top, on top of it. Uh, and those sort of sit on top. And as they sit on top, they make tiny little holes in the graphene. And then I flow a carbon-containing gas over top. And those carbon-containing gases add atom by atom to make little pillars from those little holes. So every hole turns into a little pillar. And those are very conductive. Those are called carbon nanotubes. And you take that to a device and you put it in the nanotubes going back into the back of the retina. And those will stimulate the cells individually, allowing for high resolution vision. So as a photon comes in, it hits the solar cell, the silicon graphene, and the nanotubes take that and stimulate individual cells. We've tested this in mice and it works very well. We're testing it in rabbits this summer. And uh, hopefully in humans, it'll be able to allow them to be able to read and see faces and do other uh, high visual acuity tasks. Thank you.